Hello, my name is Jingo Nelly and I'm going to be taking you through accounting to preparation of final accounts from single entry and incomplete records. Uh, in accounting to for the preparation of final accounts from the single entry and incomplete re records is uh, topic one. Topic two is a uh, partnership accounts. Topic 3, Specialized Accounts. Topic 4, Company Accounts. And Topic 5, uh, Cash Budgets and uh, other relative budgets, including forecasted financial statement. And the last topic, which is preparation and presentation of the cash flow statement. Now today, I'm going to be taking you through the single entry and incomplete records. Now. I have laid down information so that I can uh, save time. Now for the single entry, single entry refers to a situation where accounting records are kept not in conformity with the accounting principle of double entry. In other words, we are having a debit but uh, it's not having a corresponding credit entry. Moving on to the incomplete records. For incomplete records, it refers to a situation where an organization does not have a full set of the recording accounting records so meaning here extracting a trial balance and preparation of the financial accounts becomes very difficult now you why, why is it that uh, an organization or a firm may have single entries and incomplete records. One of the reasons, it may be because of high cost of accounting personnel. And then we're having a disadvantage, or a disadvantage of having the single entries and incomplete record, that is to talk of the poor tax assessment. Then on my next view, I'm having a determination of the net profit out of the single entries and incomplete records so i'm going to i've written down information but i would like you to follow what i'm pointing at we use two approaches here when we are determining the net profit of the single entries and incomplete records we are going to use uh, the approach basing on the accounting equation and also preparing the incomplete statement once we are done with these two then we shall be done with the prep or we shall be done with the determination of the net profit using the single entries and incomplete records and our topic one will be done for accounting two then here approach one basing on the accounting equation for this we are to use the accounting equation which is assets is equal to owners equity plus liability now as you know we are having a balance sheet now with the balance sheet we get to have our non current assets then uh, current assets and then it gives you the total assets then you move on to the owners equity and liabilities but from the owners equity and liabilities you get to have the owners equity but once you're writing the owners equity you get to have the opening capital, additional capital, net profit, and then you get to less the drawings. Now the end result is the closing capital. I have missed out the information in here so that I can land on this. I want to extract this and I bring it to this so that you get to know how we use the accounting equation to find the net profit in the single entries and incomplete records. Now for this, the end result, since the end result is the closing capital, we are going to say from owner's equity, hmm, from this balance sheet, we are only going to extract out this, only this part of owner's equity. That is, from the owner's equity, we get to have, what's the our end result? Closing capital. So, closing capital is equal to opening capital, which is this, which is this, then uh, plus additional capital, then plus the net profit, then you less the drawings. And then from this, that's when we are going to interchange. 
we are going to interchange now we are going to take all these it's going to cross the equal sign and whatever crosses the equal sign that means its sign gets to change if it's a positive here it's going to go this side and it's going to become a negative this is going to become a negative and this is going to become a negative now for this it's going to stay there and this is going to become a negative once it crosses the equal sign so when i'm to come this side the net profit which remain this side is going to equal to the closing capital closing capital remember this was a positive so it's going to change the, it's going to cross the equals equal sign then it's going to become a what a negative so minus opening capital then this is also a positive so when it crosses the equal sign it's going to become a negative then minus the additional capital then we had a plus of the drawings when it crosses the equal sign it's going to become a plus drawings therefore now from this from our balance sheet we are we are going to be having the addition the additional capital is not it's not going to be constant and also the drawings it's not going to be constant meaning you can have the you can you can you can uh, have a situation where by not having the additional capital and the drawings so meaning that if you don't have these two you can end up having the net profit is equaling to the closing capital minus the opening capital meaning these two the additional and the drawings are not constant but these ones you must always have your opening capital and you must always have the the you must always have the closing capital and you must always have the opening capital now with that i would like to go to an example so that we see how this works very well uh it says mr jingo a maize dealer in kampala had his business capital of 10 million on the 1st of january 2020 during the year ended 31st december 2020 he added shillings 6 million to his existing business so as to ex expand his capital base and during the year he withdrew 3 million to buy a plot of to buy a plot for his girlfriend on 31st december 2020 mr fred had 15 million shillings as his closing capital so here they're saying determine his net profit for the year ended 31st december so a solution will be since they told me to determine my net profit i'm going i'm going to say net profit is equal to closing capital from our formula up minus opening capital now for this formula it will be in my head basing on the assumption that i um, have already extracted it from my balance sheet here and i've made this interchange making net profit the subject so closing capital minus opening capital minus the additional capital plus the drawings now i've had I've, I'm, I'm putting that additional capital and the drawings because in my question they are there so if i told them to look at uh, this equation because if i'm in the paper i can do this and i get to know am i having a closing capital yes i'm having a closing capital so i get to come and i say from here on 31st december 31st december 2020 mr fred had 15 million as his closing capital meaning this will be my closing capital then i go to opening capital do i have an opening capital then i'll come and i say opening capital which is 10 million so the 10 million is going to be my opening capital minus addition do you have additional information additional capital then it it will be uh it will be additional capital during the year ended 31st december 2020 he added shillings 6 million to his existing business meaning this will be my additional capital which i'll bring here and my drawings will be because this person uh, had a girlfriend and withdrew and during the year he withdrew 3 million to buy a plot for the girlfriend so these 
these will be drawings because they do not relate to my business then i'll add the drawings hence giving me a net profit when when i i i say the 15 million minus the 10 minus 6 million plus the 3 million giving me 2 million so this will be my net profit at the end of the year so this is how i i can use the accounting equation to determine net profit using the single entries and incomplete records so that's it for today thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe comment and also you leave a like thank you very much